Hello everyone, this is Monday, October 19th, and this is the Naples Money Manager with News You Can Use. I am Marcus Bickle, I am joined by Dennis Nelson, and John Kincaid will be joining us shortly. Hello everyone, yeah. so we're heading for a new week. Yeah, and so I hope I can market a little better. A little bit better, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been interesting, right? Uh, up and down, it uh, uh, kind of ended up nowhere is where, where it's going, but uh, that's what it feels like a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's like everybody's waiting. What could they be waiting for? <laughs> hey. So real quick before we get into, into what Dennis wants to bring up, he's going to talk a little bit about the markets and the interest rates. And then uh, John is going to briefly touch on um, uh, the possible new tax plan um, coming up. So. I want to talk about, we're coming into, obviously, fall. It doesn't seem like it here in Florida because it's balmy 80 degrees out and raining, but in other parts of the country, it's starting to cool off a little bit. Um, what does that mean for 2020? Well, we're starting to see a little bit of a resurgence in Europe with uh, COVID-19 um, to the point that um, even countries that have been resistant to severe me measures like Sweden are considering um, a lockdown. I'm not saying we should do that here, but it's kind of something we're keeping an eye on um, going forward. Uh, generally, um, uh, Europe has seemed to lag. We've, we've seen the lag behind Europe between two to four weeks. So just um, be careful out there, be safe, and um, just kind of be aware that as, as, the, as the season changes, um, you know, everything will continue to change and go forward, especially as you, know, you might be going to crowded areas like a polling station or things like that. So that's all I have, and I'll pass it over to uh, Mr. Nelson. Well, I think that's a great thing to do, though, is be safe, stay safe. Um, the economy, the economy just really seems to be booming, and I think what we're seeing is the effects of low interest rate are uh, being felt throughout the economy. We're seeing car sales uh, ex exploding, and I think that's probably a combination of uh, low interest rate, but also hearing uh, incidental uh, re reports that people no longer feel comfortable uh, in, a, in, in an Uber uh, type situation. They want to be in their own car and, and probably alone in their own car. So that's, that's kind of interesting, but, but it's certainly facilitated by the low interest rates. And uh, another area, of course, is real estate. The housing is, is just exploding uh, the demand for housing and uh, here again there could be uh, uh, related to uh, uh, corona but I think a big part of that is the low interest rates uh, refinances are just uh, 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 I don't have another word except exploding <laughs> if the bank will find time to see you of course <laughs> getting a refi well we, we uh, uh, more and more mortgages are done directly with mortgage uh, uh, originators like Rocket, uh, we call that the retail mortgage uh, trade. Um, uh, Rocket went public here a few months ago. Uh, we're going to see some more of these companies uh, go public. Mm. You can get, uh, you can call up uh, Rocket. They will, they will give, bid you uh, uh, interest rates. And with looking at the, as a for instance, looking at the ten-year government rate of less than a percent, uh, around three quarters of a percent for 10 years. People are willing to lock up money for 10 years for three quarters of a percent. That, to me, that's saying we're gonna see low rates uh, uh, stick around for a while. I absolutely agree. But uh, I, I see advertisements uh, from uh, companies like Rocket uh, of uh, two and a half percent. Um, I'm, Finding that maybe not too many people are really getting that two and a half percent for thirty year, um, you can for uh, fifteen years though. But it seems like the average rate right now is around three uh, percent on a, on a refi. So that's great. That's crazy. Why why, why not do it? Uh, you got to be a little careful about expenses, um, and a, a lot of times those expenses really aren't aren't uh, uh, large expenses from from the originators of the mortgage, but. But you end up uh, paying for for uh, uh, government, uh, county taxes, uh, and they can be significant. Mm -hmm. So something to keep an eye on. So that's that's what I got. Well, fantastic. Thank you, Dennis. And I will hand this off to John Kincaid.
All right, so uh, Marcus mentioned uh, tax proposals. Obviously, we're in a time when uh, we are absolutely in this country fighting about everything. Divisiveness is... Uh, it's a contentious period. Wow, it is. That's unfortunate because um, maybe we could do better somehow. Anyway, to add to that contention... <laughs> uh, Eaton Vance, which is a mutual fund company, in fact, uh, just purchased by Morgan Stanley. Uh, Eaton Vance has been around a long time in Boston. Uh, they do mutual funds. They were one of the first uh, mutual fund families to do tax managed, where they try to control gains, etc. But this caught my eye. They've had a fellow from, uh, that stays in Washington, D.C., and kind of uh, talks about what's going on there that's relevant to investing. And he put out this piece that is called 2020 election, how Biden's proposals compare to the current tax policy. Now we all know that the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 was major. Uh, and now we have uh, some other things uh, from the Democratic side. So if you would like this, it's about 10, 12 pages, and it goes through some of the details in the tax proposal so you want to be uh, you want to be up and understand uh, what the tax proposals are. Compare them, kind of filter them, uh, and and think about those. But if you would like a copy of this, it's simple. I can email it to you. Just send me uh, an email saying tax proposals. Send it to John J O H N at NaplesMoneyManagers.com, and I'll send you a copy. Well, thank you, John. And I just wanted to say one last thing before we close out. Now, I think about how crazy this year has been all the time, as I'm sure all of us do, but I, I like to remind myself that while I am only 37, I talk to the, the, the men around me who have a great deal more experience than I do, and this country has seen uncertainty before. It has seen crazy years, it has seen weird events, and many of you have lived through those. And if you think back, you can see times which have been as, as, as strange as anything we are seeing. So just remember, the republic endures, and we will continue. And at the end of the day, we are all Americans, and we should love each other. Now, thank you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. And remember, this is news you can use. Money matters, but most importantly, you matter.